Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. What we have here today is a bit of a juxtaposition, honestly, because here we are playing the old COD, taking that trip down memory lane and just seeing how good Modern Warfare 2 Remastered would be should Activision actually ever release the damn thing. Meanwhile, they're in the middle of releasing the next Call of Duty title, which is right around the corner. Without really paying attention to it, it kind of just snuck right up on me. Call of Duty Next is like real soon. The Black Ops 6 beta is real soon. And today it was revealed that in three days, on August 27th at 7 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m. Eastern, we're going to be getting the official multiplayer reveal trailer for Black Ops 6. Obviously, we've seen some Black Ops 6 gameplay in the past from some of the teasers that they've put out, but this is going to be like the full reveal trailer of the game's multiplayer, which of course is going to be really interesting. But then the next day on August 28th at 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern, we're going to have Call of Duty Next, which is said to be running for about four hours or something like that from what I've read, which sounds kind of crazy. I'm not sure if they've ever really done like a four hour event. That sounds wild. I mean, maybe they have and I just never really realized it. I mean, obviously they're going to be talking about everything in regards to Black Ops 6. They're going to be going over the campaign. Multiplayer is going to be huge. We have zombies, which just recently they posted this teaser here showing like the intro cinematic to the Liberty Falls map, which looks pretty freaking incredible. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, between campaign, multiplayer and zombies, perhaps they're really going to go three or four hours. I guess we're going to have to wait and see, but it should be a pretty interesting day as we learn more about Black Ops 6 and hear from the devs and hear about all the deep dives in the systems and everything because I think for a lot of us we're just curious to see what that multiplayer is going to be like. They're going to be talking about things like omnidirectional movement even more. Hopefully we get more details on weapon progression and the return of prestige mode as well as more information on maybe some new or returning systems that are going to be added to the multiplayer experience. Like in general it should be a pretty fun time as we learn more about Black Ops 6 but then after that two days later the Black Ops 6 beta is going to begin. On August 30th if you pre-ordered got a code from somebody online or have a game pass subscription now according to the official call of the blog you get early access to the beta on game pass if you have a subscription to game pass ultimate game pass pc or game pass console which i think they're calling game pass core now regardless the naming's all confusing but here's how it breaks down essentially if you're new to game pass there are basically three different kinds you have console game pass PC Game Pass or both. Game Pass Ultimate is for Xbox and PC. PC Game Pass is just for PC. And then Console Game Pass is going to be just for Xbox. Basically, if you have Game Pass, you can play the beta without having to pre-order the full $70 game. Also, if you're new to Game Pass, you can get your first month for just $1, which is really good because I'm sure there's plenty of COD fans out there who just want to play the Black Ops 6 beta without having to pre-order or without having to really spend any money whatsoever. So for some of you out there who never got Game Pass before, you can get access to the beta early for one dollar which is pretty freaking cool so it's going to be interesting man it doesn't really seem like it maybe i'm just not paying enough attention but we're literally six days away from the black Ops 6 beta and i'm not really seeing a ton of hype surrounding it like when i see people reacting to the zombies content that's one thing like zombies fans are so freaking stoked right now seeing those teasers that they put out some of the gameplay that they put out man like zombies fans are stoked to have actual zombies back for the first time in years like i'm definitely excited for them Obviously, some people out there are going to like the campaign, the story, and the evolution of the new Black Ops universe. Like, some people are going to like that. But in terms of multiplayer, I don't know, man. Like, it's, maybe I'm wrong. I'm open to that idea. Feel free to let me know in the comments. But I'm just not seeing a ton of hype surrounding Black Ops 6. Like, obviously, people are going to be playing the game. They're going to be trying it out. But I'm just not seeing as many people really talking about it or, like, hyping it up like they typically do. And I think that's down to two things. Number A, skill-based matchmaking, obviously. That's at the forefront of pretty much everything when it comes to COD's multiplayer player anymore like skill based matchmaking has just been taking such a toll on the player base over the years and it's burnt so many people out on the franchise in general but number B I feel like this entire system that they have set up right now where every game kind of feels the same because every game is essentially developed by every studio all at once like it may have that Treyarch name but Infinity Ward had their finger in that pie Sledgehammer Games had their finger in that pie Raven Software had their finger in that pie and eventually every new COD that comes out is just like the Riley Reed of video games you know what I mean where instead of it being like a proper pure Treyarch game that just has like that pure Treyarch soul to it almost, you know, instead it has like all these aspects from Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games and like Raven Software and like they try to homogenize the entire Call of Duty experience by making every single game run off the Call of Duty HQ and how every game runs off essentially the same engine. So the movement in every game kind of feels the same. The gunplay in every game kind of feels the same as compared to what it was back in the day where, you know, Black Ops 1 compared to the OG Modern Warfare 2, 
which you guys are seeing some of that here, you know, those games felt night and day different in terms of movement, fluidity, gunplay, overall vibe and feel and everything. And when we see the early footage, like some of the teasers that Activision's been putting out, as was all the leaks, I suppose that could be number C right there. The fact that pretty much the entire game was already leaked ahead of time. Therefore, it's kind of like old news. Therefore, people aren't talking about it nearly as much. But when we look at that leaked gameplay or the stuff from Activision or whatever, you know, it does have that Treyarch feel. You know, when you look at it, it's like, mm, this does look pretty good. It reminds me like it's like Black Ops Cold War meets like Modern Warfare 3 almost in a sense, you know, so it does have that Treyarch vibe, that Treyarch atmosphere almost. But ultimately, it's going to come down to how the game feels when we can play the beta, which, of course, once again, is six days away from this video being published. As always, I'll keep you guys posted as we learn more and as more updates come out. Like I said, the multiplayer reveal trailers in a couple of days. The day after that is Call of Duty Next, and two days after that is going to be the freaking beta. So get ready, boys. It's going to be a pretty interesting week going forward. But for right now, that's it for this little update video here today. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.